Hey everyone, James here, and today we're talking about the three common mistakes artists make online. Digital marketing is pretty much the backbone of music promotion today. In fact, it's really hard to imagine an artist getting ahead without having a very strong presence online. But before you can start creating amazing digital campaigns, there are some very basic things that you need to make sure you're doing correctly, and that's what we're going to talk about today. First and foremost, we need to have consistent branding. Now we talk about branding a lot on this show, but it's for good reason. Great branding is what separates the good artists that we remember from the good artists that everyone forgets. And trust me, there are far more good artists that everyone forgets than great artists who are remembered. And a lot of that comes down to their image, their logo, the way they look, the way they present their songs, all of it comes together to create one brand for your music and it needs to be as good and consistent as possible. Let me give you a small level example. The band Plans from Indiana just released a really great EP. And if you look at the promotional materials for this release, every single aspect of it comes together in a really beautiful way. It's all tied together mostly by the uses of this pink hue that you see in the cover art up here, as well as in this image right here. The band has found a way to give themselves a look, a feel, an aesthetic, if you will, that goes with everything related to this release. And it, it's kind of beautiful to see because it helps Plans seem a lot more professional and a lot farther ahead in their career than they arguably are. They're a small band from the Midwest who are still working very hard to gain fans, but when you see the way they present themselves online, they look polished, they look professional, and that makes people want to take an interest in their music. Number two, ask yourself, are you posting enough online and is the things you're posting worthwhile? Are they relevant to your brand and what you're trying to do? Gary Vaynerchuk, one of the most interesting business thought leaders in the world today, has a video online where he talks about needing 100 original pieces of content every single day. Let's, let's look at a clip real quick. If you are not producing 100 pieces of content for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, podcast, every single day, you are leaving the greatest opportunity in the world on the table. Now obviously, 100 pieces of content every single day is really hard to do, especially for a new group just starting out. But I think the point Gary's trying to make is that you need to leave an impression on your audience and you need to make sure that you're posting at the right time so that your content is going to be seen. Now I can throw up this image right here that's a recent infograph that shows you what times you should post at all of the different social media sites and you can probably make this video full screen and see it, but just head over to Google yourself right now. Google when is the best time to post on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, follow it and use that as a way to leverage the algorithms of the internet to your advantage. If you post the best thing anyone's ever heard or seen online at the wrong time, nobody's going to see or hear it. It's, it's that simple. And as foolish as it sounds for everybody to be following the same guides about what times of day are best to post, the truth of the matter is these infographics, they work. So use them. Number three, always be engaging your audience. I know that may seem like common sense in 2019 when everybody is on social media, but there are a shocking amount of artists who just don't seem to get it. I'm not talking about liking posts on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. I'm talking about communicating with your audience online, asking questions, answering questions, and doing so on a consistent basis. If you want to see a great example of engagement online, check out the Canadian band Selfish Things. The group recently signed with Pure Noise Records and they've been getting a lot of attention online thanks to the community that they've built through engaging their audience. If you look at their feeds, they post photos, they post behind the scenes looks at tour and the studio, they also post videos, and of course they share their music, but the band also just shares who they are. They share insights from life on the road, they share their opinions on things, they share their interests, and they ask their fans questions related to all those topics as well. Where do you live? Where should we come on tour? What are you guys watching on Netflix right now? All these things create conversation. When conversation happens around content online, the algorithms of these social media platforms begin suggesting your account to other people. They say, hey, your friends keep engaging with selfish things, so maybe you want to engage with selfish things as well, and that helps build a community around an artist. Does that mean that every single person who follows you is going to become a fan who buys your music and goes to shows? No, but it does open the door to them possibly discovering your music, and that's what really matters at the end of the day. Just like posting at the right time, engaging your audience can help reach more people, and ultimately that's how you're going to build a community around your music who lift you up into the higher ranks of the music business.
Before we go any further, I do want to ask that you click the subscribe button at the bottom of this video. We're creating a ton of content right now and every subscription we get helps us create more. So please take a moment, click that little button at the bottom and you will have so many videos in your feed helping you learn about the music business, how to succeed in it, and how other people are getting ahead and managing their career. So one more time, click that button. That's all the time that we have for today, but please take a moment and leave a thought or opinion on this video below in the comments. We read everything we've received. And if you want to yell at me on Twitter, feel free to do that as well. I love to engage with people. So please hit me up. My address is right here. And otherwise, take care of yourself. You deserve it.